so in today, and so today, as you can really see, it's day, I think, 32 of the vlog. Um, of my vlogging. So as you can really see, I'm doing things I'm doing nothing. 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 I'm reactants to form a chemical bond, converting mechanical energy into chemical energy. A ring of enzymes work in step, creating three molecules of ATP with each cycle. Inside the molecular motor, a rotating axle powers the sequence. The axle is attached to a rotary molecular motor, moved by the force of the pushing from the other side of the membrane. A difference in proton concentration. Hey guys, what's going on today? So, as you guys can currently see, you're watching the um, Wednesday push on the vlog. So, as you can currently see, it's going to be my longest day, so that means plenty of content for you guys to see. So right now, as you can obviously see, I'm doing some math right now. Nothing too exciting. It's a little bit boring, but like I said, I will try to show you guys like what I go through. So. So yeah, this is all that I'm doing. I'm trying to find the one that I can like actually practice on. I haven't practiced yet. And there we go. So yeah. Nothing too exciting, but I hope you guys enjoy in this part of the vlog. As you guys can currently see, I finished my math class. I I had a break and I like had a few snacks. So as you can currently see, I'm gonna be heading over to my English class right now. So so like I so as I usually say in my vlogs, uh, but for those who are new here, um wait okay so uh, I think I know what I'm gonna say now. Sorry, I had a brain fart. So for those uh, who uh, that have been, that have seen this before, skip ahead like a few, like a couple seconds. But for those that are new here, if you, I, if you guys do enjoy this, enjoy this. If you're still here at the end of the video, then make sure to go down to the, then make sure to go down, like and subscribe. Um, leave a comment if you want. If I should keep doing this. Um, what else do I usually say? Oh yeah, make sure to make sure. If you guys do want to check it out, then I'm going to leave a link to where you can, down in the description where you guys can see my social media. So if you guys want to follow me on there, like Instagram or Twitter or Snapchat, you guys can definitely do that. All right. So, but yeah, so I'm just heading off to my English class, like I said. Pretty nice day, pretty nice walk. So, yeah. I think out of the ordinary. So, nice. So, I'm in English class right now, and I'm watching an SNL skin. I'm still feeling skeptical, so to cheer me up is the most optimistic guy I know, my neighbor Willie. Oh, God, you guys are gonna love this. Oh, man! It's a Christmas miracle! The vaccine is finally here! I don't know if I trust the vaccine, Willie. Oh, I was skeptical too, Michael. I've been searching for that vaccine since March, and I'm starting to give up hope. What do you mean you were searching for the vaccine? <laughs> you know, I'd go down to the city park, pick up some needles off the ground, uh, try them out. Willie, that is very dangerous. <laughs> if you want to hit the lotto, you got to crack some eggs. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> I just got lucky, and the CEO of Pfizer personally knocked on my window to give me the vaccine. <laughs> Are you sure that was the CEO of Pfizer? No. Oh. Of Michael? Unless that was just some African dude making it up. Oh God! Yeah. No, it was him. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Well, aren't you worried about the side effects? Oh, Michael, we all have birthdays. <laughs> side effects. <laughs> but that's not the vaccine's fault. At most, it makes you a little sleepy. But you wake up in a tub of ice, good as new. Oh Lord. In a tub of ice? We well, all like they say, Michael. They replace your organs with newspaper again, will it? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I guess I'm just a little more trusting the doctors since my granddaddy worked in medicine. Really? Yeah. He was famous too. Okay. So here's your turn back. So what's the story here? What? 
I'm still worried about taking that shot. Oh, my dog. <laughs> you sound just like my old dog, Lucius. He didn't want to take this shot, neither. He ran and hide until we found a little trick. We put some peanut butter on the barrel of the rifle, and he ran right to it. That is so <laughs> gruesome. <laughs> it's like they always say, you can't make a fur coat out of just one dog, will it? <laughs> okay, and that's our, so, so we get the final piece of this. You know, I was pretty sick myself this year. Oh, I didn't know that, Willie. Yeah, and I followed all the rules. I wore a mask, kept 500 feet away from school. <laughs> <laughs> I still got affected. I had all the symptoms, heavy cough, no sense of smell or taste, tiny bumps on my pee-pee. <laughs> but then I let that stop me from beatboxing at the nursing home. I, I really well. hope it did. No, sir. Oh, it's my like God. they always say in showbiz, Michael. You went down St. Mary's Village, will it? Will he, everybody? Okay. Tell us about your daughter. Well, Tracy, my Ray Ray used to be so sweet. She was a straight-A student, the type of girl that couldn't get enough for kids by. Sounds lovely. Then suddenly she started skipping class, talking back, cussing at strangers. Mm. Oh. Well, why don't we get Ray Ray out here to explain her behavior? Ray Ray, come on out. Yeah, I'll tell you. <laughs> this is my life, you guys. Baby, please, you see what I mean? The girl's out of control. Don't nobody in this yet. audience know who I am or what I'm about. Y'all are just mad because your booty smell like burnt bacon. Oh. You don't know me. <laughs> what the hell? Let's take some questions from the audience. Hi, hi, Ray Ray. My name's Carla. So um, I know you say we don't know you. Because you don't, bitch. But something tells me you're a gal who loves to learn. Okay, true. But only when you feel you're being challenged by a teacher or mentor you admire. You're right. Standardized tests aren't your forte, but you work hard at them and excel. Yeah, that's me. You know, she got a 1450 on her pre-SAT. Okay, so she knows one little thing about me. That doesn't mean she knows me. And if I ever meet Taylor Swift, I'm beating her ass. Oh, my God. What's your problem with Taylor Swift? She's a bitch. <laughs> We're all bitches in this you world. Don't know me. Don't none of y'all know me. Okay, let's go to the Okay, so what do they what do they do? Just because you don't know me and they have the audience turn to Google. Um they basically have her discuss like what they kind of already know about her a little bit like she's someone that really knows how to learn she's someone who's excited to like you know excel at a at certain subjects when she's got like the motivation yeah they counter this her main claim by offering information that they know about her well for a sec okay so what are you doing here you But my guess is you're like a lot like me. Hell no. And you know the type of person who looks healthy but whose cardiovascular health is in shambles. Okay, so we twins. <laughs> like you know, you, you know exercise is important, but you have a hard time committing to it. And you tried CrossFit and loved it, but you left because it felt too culty. Now that was pretty on point. Oh, okay, now whatever, whatever. That's universal. And Marcus, hey Marcus. You just mad because your mama's a hoe. <laughs> Shit. I'm putting this on my blog. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> These people uh, just trying to help you. But they don't know me. The fuck? Why don't we hear from hey, the ladies actually, with the bedazzled no. neck brace? Hi. It's uh, actually a thick choker. Uh, I just huh. want to say, this girl clearly loves Beyonce. Who doesn't? psychotherapist. She's well-versed in family conflicts because hers is falling apart. Please welcome Dr. Jill. Hi, Ray Ray. 
Full disclosure, I'm not actually a doctor. People just call me that because I play keyboards in a funk band. <laughs> um, I do not care what this woman has to say. I don't know her. Yeah, well, actually, you do know me because you swore at me um, in a Walmart parking lot. Oh, he go. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I offered to help you, um, you know, with your anger issues, and we had coffee and we became good friends. I don't remember mm -hmm. none of that. Yeah, we talked about your dad and how he smothered you. And I've been smothering you? You could have just said something. We cried together, actually, and you gave me the other half to your locket. Mine says sisters. <laughs> okay, and mine says for life. So, what's your point? Mm. My point is you still need to pay for the damages to my car, and since we're here with your father, I thought maybe... Who, me? No, no, I don't know her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he don't know me. Yeah, and we don't know you. Yeah, lady, you don't know us. You don't know us. You don't know us. You don't know us. She don't, don't know us. We don't know you. Don't know oh. It's time for a commercial break, and when we return, we'll talk to a woman who says she's having pizza rats, baby. Okay, so... Okay, so as you guys currently see, I finished my English class, and I'm, cur and I'm cur so currently on my longest break, so I'm going to try to have, like, some lunch early, so that way I'm not, like, uh, you know, I'm not sleepy later for my other two classes. So, that's going to be fun. Check the line, of course, because look at the freaking line, it's huge. So yeah, that's the one. So yeah, thank goodness I managed to get here early. Clear operational definitions. And the importance actually of operational definitions. And this covers everything from, well, 14 minutes and 59 seconds all the way down to zero minutes. So if someone doesn't work. All right, so as you can really see, I'm on social research and I'm doing a few things right now. I'm gonna show you some footage of me in class, so yeah. Okay guys, so I'm just doing an activity right now. Pretty fun, um, pretty fun stuff, nothing but nothing exciting. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna see what happens next. Yo, yo. So as you currently see, um, I am in a bit of a break right now, but I am with my innovation crew right now. We have a presentation. So guys, explain to them what we are doing. Who wants to explain what we're doing? Um, we're going to present our app to our innovation class, which is pretty much, just, it's called, our app will be called AC Connect, and it's pretty much like an app for um, first year students, freshmen, to Communicate and meet new people and come into college already having friends. Okay. Pretty much. Okay, yeah, that is a connect great idea. ASU. That's what it is. It's ASU Connect, but you're connecting ASU. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, so that is what we're doing right now. It looks great, and I'm pretty much doing the final, uh, like, I'm gonna do like the finale of this vlog. So, like I said, you guys, if you guys wanna like see this, and this is going to be like, what, my longest vlog because I like recorded the freaking SNL clips. So this is going to be my longest damn, damn vlog. But if you guys do enjoy this vlog, then remember, then like I always say, make sure to go down and subscribe to see more of this content. And um, comment down below, share it with a friend. And as always, I'm going to leave my social media down below so you guys can check it out if you want to follow me on like Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and whatnot. So, but um. Definitely Twitter, cause like, um, fuck Facebook, it's full of shit. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, guys, um, I'm looking right now, and apparently, there's someone who copied us. We're gonna sue their asses for copyright infringement, and then we are going to sue them until they are cash poor. We are gonna sue their asses. And <laughs> okay, so. Of course, um, I'm exaggerating, but these guys let's, let's copied us, and okay, and okay. Okay. I'm just well, losing it, okay? Let's, let's, let's focus on there. Okay. Yes. Okay, so, guys, just support us in the comments if you can. That would mean a lot, so. <laughs> but yeah. So, we're going to get ready to see the presentations. As always, I will try to record as much as I can, but I can't assure you that I will be doing it 100%. So, I will try my best. Alright, these presentations are looking great. I'm actually kind of nervous, but hopefully we do good. Guys, do you think we're going to do good? We're going to do great. Why are you asking? We're going to do great. 
Let's do this. Oh yeah! Alright, so we're gonna be going up and presenting, and so you guys are gonna get to see the whole thing. Hope you enjoy it.
not really like a rough draft, but it's kind of like what we have pictured. Yeah. Okay, so um, we start off by making a profile, like all the other apps that you guys saw earlier. Um, name, major, first day, three book and Instagram build, one, like that. And then, so then after you make your profile and you enter your bio and things like that, it takes you to like this survey thing. So a couple pages that we have, in mind right now are like music, hobbies, sports, and different clubs and stuff like that. And then um, you don't, you can skip through certain surveys that you don't want to like include. So for example, if you like don't want to include any hobbies or like you don't have any hobbies, then you can skip through it. But if you do skip through them, then it's like kind of limited to like finding other people who are interested. Does that make sense? Okay. So here's like an example of what the surveys would look like. So over here we have the um, music one, hobbies, and then sports. And then here's like a club survey preview, what it would look like. So adding on to that is like, so once you get through the other pages, this one would probably be one of the last ones. So it would be like, I'm interested in joining a club when I get there. I don't necessarily know what they are yet, but I'm going to click categories that I would like. So like, this example is like if you were interested in technology, you would click technology and it would take you to this page and then it'll have clubs that already exist here and then you obviously don't know what they are about so you would click on a little question mark and then the like club bio would pop up to give you like a little brief explanation about it. And adding on to that, we all know that there's like a million clubs here at ASU so we thought this idea was the best way to keep it organized and specific for the people that are looking just for technology and then they can just just see the technology ones because if you're just looking for technology and you have to scroll through everything else you're going to miss the ones that you're actually looking for because there's so many options here and with that say you don't want to join a club you can just skip the club page okay so then we also have like the um like once you fill out your interest in your surveys and things like that It would be like, so the left picture would be kind of like the home page. So theoretically, like you could click on a state, so like if I'm from Wisconsin and I want to meet people from Wisconsin to join the ASU, I would click on Wisconsin. And then I can tap other filters. So like if I want people in my major, I can click major and then it would have a drop down and you can select whatever major you want like to meet people from. So these are just a few of ideas of like for filters. There could obviously be a ton more but just like for the sake of simplicity, we just have it a few. So then once you like search, so say this person searched uh, Texas and they filtered with rap, so this shows all the people who live in Texas and also like rap music. And then you can click on the little message bubble and then you can talk to them. So with that being said, you can message people individually or you can make group chats with one another. And so really what this, what this app is really about, and we are focusing this mainly on out of state students because, um, for example, I'm from Scottsdale and I've actually met people that used to go to my high school. I've even met a couple of people who, um, who actually went to a school that used to rival my old high school. So really what I'm saying is that um, most of the students that are from Arizona is not really a, we're not really marketing this towards Arizona students because really we already have like a sense of familiarity. There's already a sense of like, oh hey, you're from uh, Scottsdale, I'm from Tempe. So really what this app is doing is trying to build on familiarity. And so and so that's really our main focus and that's why we find this to be an innovative product. Really, uh, so a way to connect with other incoming freshmen before you arrive on campus, as you can see, a way to feel a, feel a part of the community immediately. ASU Connect, we connect, we connect with you, we dare because we could. And at this moment, we won't be taking any questions. I know that two of you are from out of state, and I'm not sure what your answer is. Have you found people from Wisconsin, and how did you find them? Was that serendipity? Was that purposeful? Like, how was that process current? Um, 
what, oh, oh, oh. Um, so I actually had a very hard time finding anyone from Wisconsin here. I actually ended up meeting one, not even through, it was like I met somebody in my class and they told me that their sweet mate is from Wisconsin and then like I exchanged through them to like talk about them. But like the main like, I feel like driving factor towards this app is like, I know specifically when I was trying to find like a roommate here, like for when I come here, like to start school, it was very hard to like find people that I wanted to connect with because there's so many different places you can go. Like you can go on Instagram, there's Instagram pages, there's Facebook pages. I know we have double to double, but it's the format of that isn't really like user friendly to like the people who are coming here. Like, people want to exchange conversations with one another and not really, like, have it be, like, an umbrella. Like, they want to just interact with one another and not have, like, a watching over type thing. Oh, for me? Yeah. Um, well, the only reason why I do know somebody from Long Island is because I went on a lacrosse team, and uh, she was recruited through here, and then she told me about it, and then I ended up getting recruited. But besides that, I don't know anybody from Long Island. So, like, I would love to know them, too, because, like, that's a great thing, because you make friends at school, and then you get home for the summer, and, like, you could still hang out with those friends. Like, I don't know anybody else, so I would definitely want a way to do that, and I think this app would be the best. So I love the idea of backing this up, the 20 prompts you can create that, you know, since before you arrive, like, got the profiles, the way to narrow this down and connect people and create that kind of bond. Talk to me a bit more about that linkage and student clubs. Get the if we're focusing on creating connections before you come and localize outside of it to create familiarity when you come, what was that tie in then to the club? Yeah, so like the idea with that is like obviously this is like the main focus right now is like for before you even get here so that you meet other people. There is like two ideas with that, so it's like you can already like preview some clubs that you think you might be interested in joining because it's not like a fixed thing. You can take that back. It's just like your major to move. You can change that. So the idea behind that, like one of it is that, oh, I might be interested in joining like this technology club. I can find other people who also might be like interested in joining this. And then it could be like, when you do get to campus, you can still use this app. So then like when you do join an app, like not an app, a club, you can refine down to that too. So it's like, it's not strictly just for before you get here, that would be the more useful part of it. You can still use it when you get here though. The before like you get here, before you start college is so that you can use this app and like already come into college already having like a good friend for you. A sense of belonging. Yeah, that way you're not like going into this, like they're not from here, so they have no idea. And like they don't even know like anyone from here. So like the idea for that to It's also like the idea that like it just gives you a little bit more like peace of mind that you're gonna be able to like meet people there because I know yeah. when I came here the only people I knew were the people in my suite and I didn't even really know them but it would have been nice to like know other people that I could meet up with later. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We just wanted to start with like a very like small controlled idea because like it obviously could expand to other like the other campuses too and it can be very beneficial for people who do online too. And, and that can be an initial like filter that you click. It can be like you click both the West campus or country campus or online and then that will narrow down into like everything else. Right now this is like the rough thing. Like, yeah. Yeah. And then you can make it bigger and better for yourself. I was curious, do you have any other names? What were the other names that came up? Because ASU Connect is kind of generic where you have yeah. specific things. So what were some of the other names that you thought about? Originally, I said ASU Worldwide because we were thinking possibly international because you could do that as well. But we tried to limit it down so then that didn't really make sense because it's not worldwide. But we were thinking international students as well. We made the app bigger. Yeah. 
But like other than that, we didn't really have like a ton of ideas. We it was more the like the name was like the hardest part. Yeah, the name was the hardest <laughs> part really. Like we had like a bunch of ideas and we figured out how to put them together, but we didn't really know what to call it quite yet. So like the name could obviously change. But. Well, let's give them a nice round of Alright, so that was our presentation. Hope you guys enjoyed. No, you didn't. I did. I recorded.
Guys, we did it. We actually did it. Are we bringing that up? ASU Worldwide. ASU Worldwide, Worldwide it is. Yeah. Let's do this. Everyone, I, I know because I'm one of the short people in the front. Alright. So, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Um, but, I'll do the outro like always. So, yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's going to do it for today's vlog, you guys. And you guys, thank you so much. Um... It, today was pretty awesome. I was feeling so nervous, but thanks to you guys um, I, could, I couldn't have done this without you guys without your support without your love and Like always as I said make sure to like the video if you if you did enjoy it subscribe If you want to see more content comment down below share with a friend and as always I'm gonna link uh, I'm gonna leave a link down in the, in the description for you guys to see my social media if you guys want to go follow me on Instagram Snapchat or Twitter and without further ado, I will see you in the next video. Peace.